Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and watch the video to the very end. So recently, I received a comment on one of my videos I made in 2020. It was about creating and setting up uh, parameters in Microsoft Query for Microsoft Excel. The commenter asked, was there a way to do uh, in between two dates? And I provided him with the syntax. Basically, you have to do uh, a between on the criteria. And you have to set your uh, two parameters in brackets. And uh, he was having issues uh, with the syntax. So I promised to make a video about that. This is the video here. So I'm not going to go over how to uh, set up the... Um, the one criteria for Microsoft Query, but I'm going to do the uh, example for the two criteria. So I'm going to just take this sheet with the one criteria. I'm going to copy it real quick and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So uh, one thing that you want to do just to make your life easier, since you're going to be working with two dates, you are you pretty much want to put a second date in here. So that way, when you when you test your query, you'll, you'll know it actually works. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, table tools and table design. I'm going to go to connection properties and definition. And it worked in the same way as I did in the first video. You're going to basically create, create a new Microsoft query. We're going to go to edit query. We're going to press OK. And then from here, we're going to actually just press OK here. But we're going to go into uh, Microsoft query and set up a new Microsoft query here. So we're going to go to new. We're going to go to Microsoft Access Database as a source, and we're going to go to my desktop where I have my um, where I have my my database set up. So let's go to my desktop here once I get to it, and we're going to open up that same uh, order products table, order purchase table. I mean. So we're going to set this up, we're going to press next, and we're going to uh, press next until we get to, to finish. Then make sure that you select view data or edit query in Microsoft Query. We're going to press that and press finish. From here, if your query works, you're going to see the results of the entire query. This is a table, uh, just, just to let you know. So from here, I'm going to go to view, I'm going to go to criteria. And I'm going to set my uh, criteria field as the order date. It, it, this is going to be whatever date, whatever field that you plan on using. Uh, this will work for uh, for dates. Uh, it'll work for also numbers as well. If you have a certain series of numbers that you're looking for, uh, you could do a between on it. So this is a criteria. This is a the syntax that you need to put in. So we're going to type in between, and we're going to uh, put in brackets our our uh, parameters. So I'm going to just do date one and date two. So I just literally typed between and in, and, and in brackets the parameter one name and the the actual word and a and d and then the second parameter name. Now you can name it whatever you want to. I just name it date one and two for uh, for clarity. I'm going to click off of that. And you see that it's going to uh, display in a parameter value. It does the same thing in Access. When you leave uh, parameter values that are not referenced, you're going to be prompted to put in uh, data in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to set those parameters from within a range in Excel. So I'm going to hit OK twice. Then from here, I'm going to just close it out. Then my query is set up. Then I'm going to hit parameters and I'm going to set it to where for, for day one, I'm going to click the option that says get the value from the following cell. I'm going to hit B1 and I'm going to make sure I select refresh automatically when cell values change. That makes it to where whenever I change cell B1, it's going to update the query. I'm going to do the same thing for the second date. We're going to go to set get the value from the following cell and then we're going to select c1 and you see b1 and c1 is my date range here and i'm going to press the same thing refresh automatically when the cell values change i'm going to press ok and i'm going to press ok again and you see that when i did that it automatically updated the um 
the actual query. And you notice that my order date, I have it set to where it's in descending order. So the earliest date is going to be uh, greater than or, or equal to 10.1. And the latest date is going to be less than or equal to 120. It, 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 between is, uh, like I said, greater than and equal to those, those two dates. And uh, you can put a, a future date in here if you want to. You can put a date of 1900. It'll show everything. Uh, this way, if you put in like crazy or wild dates, you can make sure that you include everything. Uh, and you can s s specify a specific date if you want to. You'll see that it only shows one value for one date. And since it's a fairly small table, it, it's actually updating fairly quickly. Uh, your, your performance is going to uh, vary depending on how large or big your table is. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, leave a thanks in the comment section. Uh, I'm going to definitely try to make more of these videos. Uh, a lot of this stuff I had to figure out on my own. <laughs> and it was a lot of trial and error, a lot of headache. But uh, I'm glad I did it. And I hope that what I found and my little gems help somebody else out. So that's why I make these videos. You have a blessed day. You take care.